Okay, in our last program, uh, we got to the point where uh, we had basically a functioning, you know, basically functioning uh, kind of game. So we've got our borders, our play area, we've got uh, left and right keyboard, and if we touch, at least get within a certain distance of the goal, it jumps to another spot. And yeah, that's about it. So let's kill that for a second. What we're going to do is so we've been using this formula here, this collision checking, and uh, which is which is fine. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to turn this into a function. Okay, so instead of having it here, we want to make a function that takes two turtle objects. Uh, in this case, it's our player and our goal, and decides is there a collision. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my function area, and I'm going to make a function. We'll call it define is collision. Now when you see is, what this usually tells you is that it's going to be returning a boolean, so true or false. So all we want to know is uh, of the two turtles that we're sending, uh, is there a collision between these two uh, objects? So to do that, um, we basically use the same formula that we used before. Um, so we're going to have t1, so turtle 1, turtle 2. So we need to send that as our arguments. Uh, now we already have the formula, so I'm just going to take this. And I'm going to cut that out of here and put that into my formula. Okay, make sure it's indented correctly. Um, so now if you notice, we're not using, in the, uh, in the original formula we use player and we use goal. But what we want to do here is we want to make it more general. So I'm going to use T1 player, turtle 1, and the goal will be, or whatever it is, will be T2. T1, T2. So as before, um, if D is less than 20, okay, that means we have a collision, at least so far, return true. Okay. If not, return false. It's a very simple, very simple function. So is collision, so t1's x-coordinate minus t2's x-coordinate squared plus t1's y-coordinate minus t2's y-coordinate squared and the square root of that. So is collision. And so down here what we would do Instead of this, we would say if is collision. So if there is a collision between the player and the goal, then we're going to do this. So we should basically have the exact same result. Okay, so, so if there's a collision, player, which is going to be t1, goal, which is going to be t2, okay, same formula based on Pythagorean's theorem. And then if so, oh, yeah, so we're still checking goal. So we're going to move the goal to a random spot. So let's save it and run it. So we should get exactly the same result as we had last time with no errors. Fingers crossed. OK, so we can see it's still working. Oops, missed that. I guess this tells us that our function is working just fine. Okay. So in our next lesson, we'll learn how to put more than one goal on the screen.